If you would have told me just 13 months ago that Sturgis, South Dakota would be on the top of my list for vacations, I wouldn't have believed you. But here's the thing. Sturgis is not just a town in the western portion of South Dakota, and it's not just the home of arguably the biggest motorcycle rally on earth. It's a place where you come as you are, and you don't need to be a celebrity to enjoy it. It doesn't matter what your social status is, or how much money you have in a bank account. Because honestly, Sturgis doesn't care. Just riding through the Black Hills makes you think you're in an actual painting. Every turn, every lookout, every photo, just when you think it can't get any better, it does. How you get there is up to you. It doesn't matter if you plan an epic motorcycle ride across the country or throw the bikes in a trailer. You could even fly or walk. Sturgis doesn't care how you get there. Just get there. Waking up in Sturgis. No alarm clock needed. Your body will do that for you. You just get up, load up your gear, and hit the road. It doesn't matter which way you go, because the riding out here is amazing everywhere. I mean, come on, just look at this place. From pigtails, to long sweeping turns, to even going through some tunnels. The Black Hills were not built for speed. It was actually built to slow you down a bit, sit back, and enjoy the view. There are so many places to pull over and stop, grab a bite to eat, and just hang out with some new friends. Once you've done one of the rides, just turn around, take it in the other direction because every single time you're on these roads, it's a different experience. And don't say I didn't warn you, sometimes riding these roads can ruin a lot of other places you love to ride. When the air is so fresh and this type of beauty surrounds you everywhere, I mean, I won't blame you. There's always been the great debate on which ride is the best. In order to participate, you gotta get out there and ride them all. And let me remind you that just spending one day in the Black Hills is only part of the Sturgis experience. take in the Sturgis experience. For some, it's being a night owl. Others, an early bird. Some like to endure a little pain. Some like to take in a show. Or maybe a concert. You can hang out with some friends. Or just meet some new ones. While you're in Sturgis, the conversations never get boring. Just talking with people about how they got to Sturgis and their experiences on the road is enough to start a brand new friendship. As an amateur photographer and videographer, I just can't get enough of this place. I don't think it matters how much drone footage I capture or how many still shots I take. I don't think there's a way I can capture the actual essence of the Black Hills. But I'll tell you this, I would keep trying.
You know, it's kind of funny. We hear it all the time. All the cliche-ish responses of life's short, you only live once. And really what it comes down to is reasons to go and excuses not to. Anybody you talk to is going to be able to give you another reason to go check out Sturgis and the Black Hills. So I can give you all the reasons to go and you can come up with excuses. But I can tell you as far as your excuses are concerned, Sturgis, you know.